Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy V. We're in Tool. We arrived back here last time after our uh, adventures at the Wind Shrine, where uh, we gained some jobs. And we were basically told that if we don't go save the rest of the crystals, some great evil will occur, and we need to uh, obviously stop that. So Faris is back at the pub. I've done nothing off screen, and uh, we're gonna go chat or investigate this big house to the north again. Because there may be things we can do here now. Zok's house. Yes, he's home finally. And he's very surprised to see us. Pr Princess Lena! Zok! It's nice to see you again. Zok, I have a favor to ask of you. We need to pass through the Torna Canal in order to get to Warus. Now, I know what that's supposed to be, or what it was in my translation. It's Walse. Not Warus. I think Walse sounds like a much nicer place than Warus. I mean, it might not. I don't know how the, the, they expect me to pronounce that, but yeah, I, Walse is a much nicer. But now that the Wind Crystal is gone, that place is infested with monsters. It's too dangerous. Why would monsters suddenly infest the canal if the wind stopped? I'm not quite sure. Uh, and besides, I've lost the key to the canal! Oh, really? Can you find it for us? Anyways, Princess Lena, please stay at my house for the night! Not alone though, right? Come right this way! Because that would be kind of creepy. And, and where are we supposed to stay? At the inn? We're going to have to pay for the inn? Oh, it's a midnight, uh, midnight scene. I love these in RPGs. Fully enough, this is the one that I think of whenever an RPG does this. Just the sound of the, I don't know, the crickets or whatever the hell is supposed to live in this world that makes noise at night time. The crystals. Dad used to talk about those, now that I think about it. Yeah, we don't really know too much about Butts, do we? Or Galuf. Or Faris. Oh, this music. So, yeah, flashback to when Butts somehow had, like, mint green hair. I don't know how he grew out of that. The crystals must be protected. If anything should happen to me, don't tell Butts about the crystals. Or why we called him Butts. I... I don't want to burden him with this. How old am I supposed to be during this, by the way? Hmm. Can't remember the name of that piece of music, but it's, uh... It's, what, it's one of those pieces of music that I always remember from this game. There's a couple of others as well. Or, well, I shouldn't say that I remember from this game, but pieces of music that I associate with this game the most when I think of Final Fantasy V. What are you doing, Zok? Why are you just staring, watching Lena sleep? Father, I'll protect the crystals. Dude, what are you doing? Zok, you have some explaining to do. Is anything wrong? Yeah, what were you doing in, in, in that in our room. No, I was just thinking about my late mom and dad. Oh, so okay, so his parents are dead, which is pretty standard for uh, a JRPG antagonist. Please take this. What is it? It's the key to the canal. With this, you can open the gate and get to Walls or Warus. I was gonna say, I thought you'd lost that, or did you just find it? I've been hiding my worries about Princess Lena. Please keep her safe, Goku! Okay. Alright, well I guess he's... He's okay with us, uh... Going on this quest. Maybe after we saw that Lena was obviously very, very, uh... Worried about it. Talking about it in her sleep. Well, that was a lovely, lovely night. I'm, yeah, I'm still a little bit... Zark, that was weird, okay? Oh, it's like he... 
the way he scuttles off really quickly. It's like he knows he's done something bad. Princess Lena, please be very careful. I totally wasn't spying on you last night. Hmm. So, yeah. Um, I, I could have sworn there was more dialogue with him. Or maybe more of an explanation as to why he suddenly had the key and is is willing to let us go on the or what his connection is to Lena. I feel like maybe this translation missed out a little bit of that, but maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, we have the key. That is the main thing. We can now go to open up the gate leading to the Torna Canal, which will eventually lead us to our next crystal. Uh, funnily enough, yeah, Faris is still very much unawares of uh, what just went on last night, because they stayed in the pub. But I think we're pretty much done with, uh, with Tool, so off we go. Captain, wait up! I'm going to leave you here. Oh gosh. Cap- why? Captain, we'll go with you! I'm sorry you can't. But Captain! Looks like it's going to be a long journey. Be sure to protect the hideout while I'm gone, okay guys? Captain! Please. Captain! How many times do you say the word- <laughs> Have I had to read the word Captain in this game so far? Aye, 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 sir! Do -do 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 -do. Oh! Nearly forgot about... Jim. Take good care of yourself, Captain. Well, I love you. He's probably the guy that loves her, right? I mean him. Uh, the Captain. Oh, damn it. Apparently, World of Final Fantasy, uh, according to my friend Mersh, kind of spoils that whole thing. More than I've already spoiled it, but... It, again, we're, we're going to get to that pretty soon. It, it's... Uh, I, I do kind of feel bad that I've... I've had some hiccups with my... <laughs> with my words, but, um, we can get back on the boat. We could do some leveling, I suppose, if I really, really wanted to, but to be honest, I really don't think that's necessary. So, there's a bunch of enemies we haven't seen around here, I think. There's, I think there's some rare ones called Stray Cats, which I always associate with Final Fantasy VI more than V, because in VI they had, um, a pretty cool mechanic with them, or they could teach you a pretty good ability. And this one, I don't think they do, so... We're, uh, we're gonna head back on the ship. With a nice little scene with Lena. Lena, what's wrong? The wind crystal is shattered. Now the wind's power is only weakening. But before long, the wind will have stopped completely. After a few years, the sky will not stir. The birds will lose their place to fly. Father said to protect the other three, uh, three crystals. Three crystals? Yeah, but weren't you there? You saw the, the... The vision, didn't you? The crystals of water, fire, and earth. But what if they shatter? For a while, nothing will happen, but... Slowly, the earth will rot, the water will stagnate, cease to flow. The power of fire will be gone and everything will be frozen in coldness. It will become a world in which man cannot live. Oh, hey, Galuf. We're going to protect the crystals. Oh, your memory's returned? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. But I'm going to protect them anyways. I'll go too. We have to search for Lena's father. You mean the King of Tycoon who disappeared into that shadow? I just assumed he died, but okay, yeah, maybe he's still alive. I know he's alive. Lena's father wouldn't just die. How do you know? How do you know the man? You're just a pirate. But, will you come with us? I was only a wanderer when I look at these. Crystal shards? Yeah. The pieces of crystal. 
They're lending us their power so we can protect the entire world and the spirit of the wind. Let's go! To protect the crystals! Yeah, Butts didn't really take too much convincing, did he? But he does seem quite worried. When, when, he, when he listed out what would happen if the crystals did shatter, then yeah, it's, it's like... I, I'd like to think most people would try to do something about it. All right, run away! Yeah, I've, I've given Vigalif, like, f five different voices at this point. All right, we can set sail again, but it, uh, there really is nothing to do. We could go back to the Windshrine, if you missed anything there, I suppose. But, um, we're just gonna head straight to the canal. I'd be pretty nervous about walking along the bloomin'. What do they call that? It's not the mast, is it? What's the what's the big big beam at the front of a ship? I don't know, actually. Um, where'd you get the key to the canal? Uh, where'd you get the key to the canal? Wherever. Why does it matter? Come on, let's go. Yeah, I think I might be wrong on this, but I, maybe the original translation or the translation was supposed to be that uh, Zok didn't want us to know or Leonard to know that he had hid the key. He, d he, had, he didn't actually lose it. I think he was just worried about Lena, so... Yeah. So Butts is just covering for him. Which is funny, because usually people cover the Butts, not not get covered by Butts. Uh, that makes no sense. Anyway, we're in the Torna Canal, and uh, this is... I suppose kind of a mini dungeon. There's really nowhere to go. You just go... Follow, you follow the canal. Uh, but there are enemies, and I would like to run into a couple of them before we get too far. There we go. Uh, in fact, I believe these are the only two enemies we can run into here. They're actually both incredibly terrifying. And maybe the Octokraken was uh, a precursor to Ultras a little bit. Purple, uh, purple tentacly, tentacly dude. Um, I hate squids, I hate octopus, I think they're terrifying, and, um, yeah, let's, let's hit them with bolts. I'm not sure if... Are they going to be weaker to the lightning than they are with the magic, considering the sea creatures? I forget if that's a thing in this game. Oh, okay. Well, the first two were super weak against it, but the Octokraken, not so much. Eight legs. Oh, well, they're dead. So, yeah, they're super weak. Super, super weak. 125 gil for killing, though. 15 XP, 2 ABP. Isn't that, um... Oh no, it's APB that you send out on someone an all-points bulletin thing when you're trying to find someone that's on the run. No, it's not. It's not what I was thinking. It's fine. Right. Keep on going along the canal. Same enemies again. Ah, now you know what I've just remembered? We made, uh... Yeah, we made Faris a black mage, but we can't use blue magic unless we learn the ability blue magic with the blue mage. So I may actually revert her back to blue mage eventually. But for right now, I think the black mage is pretty darn good, as you can see. Very nice. Da, 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 da. Come to think of it, are we, are we close? Oh yeah, okay, so Galif is Kind of close to Monk level 2. Faris is near close to Black Mage. Um, and actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Once we learn Black Magic level 1, I could just equip that on my Blue Mage instead. Thereby having a Blue Mage that can use Black Magic instead of the opposite. So, yeah, I think I'll probably do that instead. Right. Anywho. Can't remember how long this canal actually is, but it's not super long. More Octo Krakens! Release the Krakens! Let's uh, get some curing on us, please, Lena. I actually do feel pretty bad making her the uh, the white mage. But hey ho. Oh, what am I doing? Of course. Yeah, I should have tried a different uh, a different spell. Oh, they use electric on us. That's probably why they take no damage from it. 
Oh, that actually hurt a lot as well. Crap. I love Gallop and his little, uh, his little shoes. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Let's try some fire. Let's roast this, this octopus. Okay, that did much more. Although we do have to be careful with our uh, MP a little bit because... Yeah, we've only got 20 left with uh, Faris now. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that doesn't look very good. What is that? It couldn't be. The monster that was sealed in the canal. Why would you se why would you seal a monster in a canal? Why would you do that? I'm losing control. We're we're being sucked in. Yeah, I, I don't I really don't know what I'm doing with Gallus' voice. Oh no! It's gone all Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End on us. Sildra! You gonna be okay, Sildra? S Sildra, what is it? Stand guard, something's coming! That was some, this is a significant screen shake. Alright, second boss against the Colabos. Let's scan it, if we can. Level 5, 650, it is weak to thunder. That goes by so quick. Uh, so we're going to spam some bolt spells, of course. Ooh, we're just going to make pretty short work of him, actually. Let's uh, do a build-up. And yeah, just attack it. There's not much we really need to worry about. Ooh, yeah, this thing's going to be dead in, in a couple more turns. I don't think there's a... Oh, at least this boss doesn't have any blue magic we can learn, as far as I'm aware. And I'm not sure if other bosses do either. It is possible. But again, I don't know this game super well, and... Oh, thanks for paralyzing Faris. Uh, but yeah, it's basically... a lobster-scorpion-crab thing. Tail screw? Oh, God. Reduce me... Oh, wow! Did it really have, like, 2 HP left? No way! It had 2 HP left. Or oh, however, I, I know I just did a very small amount of damage there. That's hilarious. Or maybe I'm thinking of the two that Butts had left. Yeah, we did We did very little damage to finish it off, is my point. That's pretty darn good. And it looks like, uh, similar to Final Fantasy IX, you don't actually get XP from bosses, but you do get a lot of ability points. So Butts has learned Guard, Faris, Black Mage, uh, Black Magic Level 1. And, oh! A tent! That's actually uh, super useful. Oh, oh, we made it through. Oh, wait. No, Sildra! No! That's such a sad cry. That's actually quite haunting. Sildra! It's still alive. It's trying to take Sildra with it. Oh, no. Sildra! Let go! Let go of me! Sildra! Oh. Come on, we've only just met Sildra. You can't do this to me, game. Oh, that's so sad! Oh, what? I remember that really... Affected me quite badly as a kid. Maybe that's why I didn't play as much FF5. Because that made me really sad. How's Faris? I think we should just leave Faris alone for a while. Yeah, and stop... ogling them. The ship. It's been cast away, isn't it? Uh, well, we... Yeah, we have no... No winds to guide us, so I guess we're just drifting along. Now that we've lost our- well, we've, we've lost our engine! Faris, I'm sure Sildra's alive. I mean, you did- you did see it being s Then again, it is a sea creature, so there's every chance. Let's- let's not be Debbie Downers here. There's- there's always a chance, right? 
but that's still pretty darn traumatic. And yeah, we, we have no control of the ship now. That's it. We're just drifting along. We must have... We must have left the canal at some point. Because that very much looks like the ocean to me. And just the sound of the waves. Oh no. Reminds me of that scene in uh, Muppet's Treasure Island, Cabin Fever. Oh, I need to watch that film again. It's been too long. Where are we? The ship graveyard. The ship graveyard. Wonderful. A home of undead monsters made by the remains of drifting ships that gathered. Well, whatever, let's get out of this place. Good idea. So, we've... Oh, this... I, I keep, I'm gonna keep saying this. This is gonna be my catchphrase for this game. This music. Oh, come on, I wanna listen to it. Ooh, alright, so we've got some... Some nasty looking dudes. I wonder, actually, c considering these are undead, can I hurt them with cure magic in this game? Because that can be a thing in, in various Final Fantasies. Healing magic does damage. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let's try some uh, fire. We were fully healed, by the way, which is strange. Oh, fire doesn't work against those things. Car cursor. But punching them does. And hitting them with swords does. So there we go. Also, I love that blue, eerie sky. And, uh, yeah, that's quite a bit more XP and money than we've been getting. Galif gained a job level. There we go. He's learned Brawl. Which, um, I have to check what that does. Oh, attack empty-handed as well as a monk. Okay, so you don't need to be a monk if you have that equipped, basically. If you want to do tons of damage with your fists. Um, but yeah, this piece of music... I find myself, even to this day, I can think of very recent examples where I just end up humming this to myself. Like when I'm making a cup of tea or something, you know what I mean? Something really random, speaking of tea. Mm. Mm. But yeah, I just find it very catchy. Uh, but yes, we have a haunted ship graveyard to uh, traverse. Now... Not actually sure. Is there anything left in this ship before we abandon it? I'm not sure if there is. Or even if we can, like, rest here. No, that door's locked. This is, uh, Faris's chamber. I don't- I don't think there's anything we can do here. Oh no! We can sleep here! Catch a few Zeds. Or Zs if you're, uh, American. Uh, yeah, we will do. I like how Gallif is the one that sleeps in that bed. Because he's old, you know. Well, old. He's probably like... <laughs> I, l I love in Final Fantasy games, like, the old, wise, grizzles party members are usually like, oh, he's 32, he's ancient. I bet Gallif is like 32 or something. Apparently Butts is 20, which I didn't know. Uh, so I've no idea how old we actually are. But I'm, I'm gonna guess that Gallif is, like, barely even 40, and they're treating him like he's, you know... <laughs> like he's 70 or something. Anyway. Because I think, for, like, Final Fantasy X, for example, Auron is, like, 30... 35? Something like that. And I'm thinking, I'm four years away from him. Which is scary, okay? Uh, now, I don't remember this place too well. But you do end up... I know you can jump along those rocks at certain points. Oh! Oh! They just appeared. Oh, nice! I totally would have missed this. It's a flail. What the hell's a flail do? I'm guessing that's a weapon. But who the hell can equip it? Lena can equip it. And it's actually pretty good. Which is funny, because it says that we can equip... It only shows that we can equip uh, staves. 
And yet, we can equip a flail. Well, unless everyone can equip the flail. Oh no, maybe, maybe only... No, oh, maybe only Lena can. Okay, okay. Well, we'll give it to her then. Not sure... I mean, it doesn't look like it affects any other stats than attack, so I guess it's not really that important for Lena. But we'll give it her anyway. And back we go. I, I, honestly, it's so catchy. And one little skeleton dude. I love that he's got a bandana on, though. And shorts. Oh, that critical. So, uh, I don't know how many enemies there are in this place, but there's not too many. We might have seen most of them already. Uh, let's check out this cabin. I really don't... <laughs> don't know if I would feel safe exploring the inside of these ships, though. I mean, look, there's barely anything left. And I'm terrified of the ocean, as you know. And also, ghosts are pretty spooky. Uh, if you believe in that sort of thing, so... Yeah. Some weird, eerie mist inside here, too, which is just great. Um, oh, can I not pick that up? I could have sworn you can get a map here. Unless it's in a different version. I could have sworn you can get, like, a world map. Maybe not. Maybe they added that in a different version. Oh, hello. Yeah, these things aren't really doing too much uh, damage to us. No idea what those carcasses are supposed to be like. They almost look like sea snakes? Or... Or birds? With long necks? I have no idea. I have no idea. Let's kick him. Yeah, they're doing very little damage to us. Triple kill. Butts gained a level. Lena gained a level. Everyone, you gained a level. Everyone gains a level. Nice. Or level eight. And uh, Galif is the first to break the 200 HP uh, barrier. Very cool. Uh, all right. What is in here? Treasure. Another tent. Hopefully we'll find a room to use those soon. <laughs> Although then again, we have only just healed, so... Probably not too desperate to do that. Yep, that is very flooded. Uh, do you really want to go through here? We'll all get wet. What are you saying? Let's go. Are you mad, Bots? But butts? As long as it isn't too deep. Oh, more of the same again. Let's try some... Have we shown off the ice spell yet? Let's show off some ice. Do, 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 that noise. Okay, that doesn't do much. Bolt is definitely the way to go. Uh, kick him. Kick him real hard. I'm surprised that I didn't kill any of them. Huh. Well, we know fire doesn't affect those things. That counter. I'm telling you, that's going to come in handy. Yeah, funny enough, the. I suppose the, the lightning just isn't very good against the skeletons, but you think about it. Skeletons. Probably not too conductive. I have no idea how it is bone conductive. I assume not. Maybe that's why. Anyway, let's uh, not overthink it too much. Oh my god, the encounter rate's pretty high. And it's the same again, but this time preemptive, which I will take advantage of. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Hey, that flail does pretty good damage, too. 
That ain't too shabby. Whoop. These sound effects are great. Now, one thing I think you could do um, is you'll notice that we can't actually see our maximum HP because we've got the ATB bars. So there really isn't much info on this um, battle hood, but you can swap out the ATB bars and just have your maximum HP show, I think. Or maybe just your MP, actually, as well, because you can't see that unless you go into the menus. But um, I'm going to keep it as, as it is. Uh, oh, there's some stairs there. Going down. So are we are we technically underwater here? We, sh we, we sure as shit look like it. No idea how we're breathing. And there you go. 990 heal. That is a lot of money. And it makes sense because these ships are probably pirate ships. Probably got some booty on them. So we'll keep an eye out. I actually completely forgot that was there. And maybe I should be checking these barrels too. Nothing in that. Ooh, is this going to lead out? Well, there's a chest there, down the stairs. No, this is, yeah, it's just, uh, Phoenix down. Very good. Very good. Because up until, I mean, how many of those have I got? I've got three, so yeah. But we, ha we only have Phoenix Downs as a way of reviving people right now if they die. So it's actually really, really, really useful to pick those up. That's strange. Sorting my inventory doesn't get rid of that blank space. Huh. I guess because it's usable items at the top, weapons and equipment at the bottom, but... That's weird. That's very strange. Oh, we also have rare items. We have memento bag, pendant, and pendant. <laughs> I don't remember if there's any secret passages in these ships, so I may end up missing some. Do apologize if that is the case. Uh, yeah, I think I might... I might swap Faris back to Blue Mage. Might do that. doesn't hugely matter here. Oh, to be honest, yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'm probably not going to use... I'd like... Well, it, it'd be worth seeing if Aero does any good damage against these things, considering I went through all that trouble to learn it in the first place. Uh, so, actually, yeah, let's do that. And, um... Yeah, I don't need to equip learning because that's what the Blue Mage comes with naturally anyway, which I wasn't too sure about, but yeah. So we'll just give uh, give Black Mage. There we go. And that also means that uh, Faris is going to do more damage physically as well. So that's actually really cool. And I'm going to move Faris back to the front row. So how much, how much magic? 58. Okay. And some decent HP. Blue Mages aren't really going to compete with knights or anything like that, or monks in terms of HP, but still. Less squishy than a, than a black mage. Uh, okay. Looks like there might be another chest below us. Ooh, new enemy! Golem! Type thing. I don't know what... Undead... I don't know what it's called. Undead something. Um, let's try some arrow... Oh, it re yeah, that thing looks like it is an Earth enemy, so wind is um, is very effective. Undead Rusk. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what that's supposed to be called. Undead Husk, maybe. Not a clue. But it has a lot of HP, uh, as you as you saw. But it's dead. So I believe now that's all the enemies in this area. Uh, God, 
we need 70... 70 ability points to get Blue Mage to level 3. Len is nearly White Mage level 3, which is good. But, um... We're not very close with anyone else. Uh, we're probably going to gain another level pretty soon, though. Yeah, looks like we're going to have to go down the stairs. Really, again, no idea how the heck we are breathing right now. I'm always very nervous of those floors. They do not look safe. We got a potion. Just a little potion. Nothing amazing, but... If we run out of MP, we're going to be relying on those a lot. Oh, hello! I thought we'd found all the enemies in here. Those look terrifying. And they're tonguing us. Oh, no. Don't like that. Psycho head. <laughs> I do not remember those. I wonder if they've got any blue magic. I don't think they do. And they're dead now anyway, but that was quite... <laughs> Unpleasant. Faris is very nearly dead. Oh, okay, so there you go. I, now maybe we've fought all the enemies in here? I'm just gonna use the potion. Or two. Now, I know there is, or at least I seem to remember there being a restroom at some point during this dungeon. In fact, I think it's... Right, we found it. We just found it. Man, I'm soaked. This place seems safe. Let's take a rest. Good idea. So I just wasted those potions for nothing. I have to go dry my clothes. Don't peek! Oh, okay. I mean, I'm looking at you, Galuf. Although, good job Zok isn't here. For a second, I thought Butts was making a beeline for that door. I was about to slap him. Ah, no. Nice, uh, nice little campfire. Hopefully won't burn the ship down, but then again, it's probably pretty sodden. So, that's a good point. How, have he, how has he found any dry wood to, uh, to get that fire going? I'm glad that I never get put in these situations in real life. I don't know how to start a bloody fire. Well, I do know, but I've never, I, I don't think I'd be able to manage it. I'm just fine, really. How could you say that? You'll catch a cold. All right, don't, don't manhandle Faris. Stop that! Hey, I said stop. Ooh, Faris is Faris is hard. What's going on? Faris doesn't like to be touched. Oh, and he he is the big reveal, by the way, that we've known is happening. Mostly thanks to my uh, incompetency, but also the game has hinted at it quite heavily. Lena, Fa Faris is a, a, a girl. What's wrong with that? But why? I was, f I was found by the pirates when I was little and they raised me. And you pretended to be a man? I mean, she might identify as a man. Although then again, this game did come out in like 1992. Um, but no, I, I think, I think th sh you know, she was written uh, basically to be in disguise because I guess pirates would be more willing to listen to a man than a woman, which is, you know, I, I, just the way pirates probably were. Yeah, there you go. A female pirate just get laughed at. I knew you were too beautiful to be a man. Now, come on, Gallif. Come on. You can't say stuff like <laughs> You can't say stuff like that. Hey, ju just remember that uh, my being female doesn't make me any less important. I'm just as good as you guys. Here, fucking here. Heck yeah, Faris. Yeah. <laughs> well, get over it. Time for bed. That's it. Just get over it. Deal with it. It's none of your goddamn business. Bit of a uh, bit of Mulan 
going on. Did anyone see the live-action Mulan Disney film? Was it any good? Because I really like the animated one. And I never got around to seeing the live-action. Ah, I slept well. Hurry, right, let's get going. But yeah, you don't you don't mess with Faris. She will kick your ass. Galif, are you okay? What are you doing? Let's go. Galif, what the hell was that, man? Can you, can you not even get out of bed properly? I still think Faris seems like a... Uh, I still think Faris seems like a man. This is one of my favorite lines in the game. Who cares? Faris is Faris. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Now that that's uh, been dealt with, let me just check out this room. In case there's any goodies that Leonard didn't tell us about. Nope, but there is... Uh... Oh, funnily enough, there's another set of stairs leading out of here. Can I check any of these? Will any of these give me items? I don't think they do. But there's uh, a point we can use a tent here. Although, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to just rest here again. Come to think of it. You can! Okay, so using a tent... Oh, it's a sa it's more of a save point. I keep on forgetting that in the original game, you wouldn't be able to just save anywhere. Um, so we won't rest. And that, uh, that way through the door is actually where we're supposed to go, because there's nothing else over this way, I don't think. Again, if there's any secret passages I'm missing, I do apologize. I just don't remember. I just don't rightly remember. Uh, but anyway, I think that's probably where we're going to end the video. Thank you for watching, everyone. Next time, we'll continue to try and make our way out of this spoopy ship graveyard. I, I think we're nearly out, actually. There isn't too much left of this place. But, um... But yeah, uh, we've had the whole Faris reveal now. That's... I'm actually a little bit relieved, because now I can just <laughs> not worry so much about giving the game away. But, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone. Take care. Hope you're enjoying this. I'll see you in episode 5 of Final Fantasy V.